in the Institute on Functional Oxides for Energy Efficient IT here at Helmholtz Center Berlin, we focus on quantum and neuromorphic materials. Our vision is to address grand challenges in the field of information technology that target low energy consumption. We have two focuses. We develop artificial quantum materials that do not exist in nature and that can host novel properties emerging from the nanoscale, from the confinement or strain that we create. We have a special interest in how exotic polar textures form. The second focus is on neuromorphic materials and devices. Here we aim at emulating the functions of neurons and synapses for brain-inspired computing to realize specific cognitive tasks. In our research, we address the whole chain from material synthesis to advanced characterization, devices, and finally integration in prototype circuits. So here we are at the Molecular Beam Epitaxy Laboratory. This is a state-of-the-art equipment that allows us to grow epitaxial ultrasyn films. We can control the growth almost atom by atom of perovskite compounds on silicon. And with the connected XPS tool, we can analyze the interface that is formed before the next layer is grown. We also use atomic layer deposition that allows as well control of the growth at atomic scale. To understand and optimize the physical properties of our materials, we need to be able to characterize their crystalline structure, interfaces, defects and chemistry at the nanoscale. This is quite a complex task requiring multiple complementary probing techniques. We combine correlative microscopies and spectroscopies to investigate the size and strain dependence of polarization patterns in ferroelectrics or how the interfaces influence polarization switching and its dynamics. We use Raman spectroscopy, spectroscopic ellipsometry, XPS, electron microscopies and scanning probe microscopies such as conductive AFM and PFM. All these characterizations generate a large amount of data, especially when mapping the property spatially. So we apply machine learning methods for the data analysis to reveal hidden trends. At iFox, we developed device concept based on our material growth expertise and physical insight that we gain with extensive characterization. We also developed prototype circuit concepts that demonstrate new computing functionalities such as brain-inspired computing that are not present in silicon CMOS circuits currently. We fabricate micro and nanoscale devices with conventional laser lithography and e-beam lithography. We investigate metal oxide-based membristors and transistors, including ferroelectric oxide-based devices such as ferroelectric FETs and tunnel junctions. All these devices are developed with an aim to integrate with silicon CMOS chips for neuromorphic computing. For instance, these circuits could perform real-time signal processing of biological neurons. This would enable developing better neuroprosthetics for people with disabilities. At Helmholtz Center Berlin, we have outstanding infrastructure. One of our unique facilities is the synchrotron source BESI2, which produces extremely bright X-ray light used to observe physical and chemical processes in materials, including under operando conditions. We develop collaboration with several industry and academic partners in Germany, Europe and worldwide for modeling, advanced characterization and for the integration of our device on real CMOS chips. One mission of our institute is to train young scientists. We have students from the various Berlin universities, especially from free university where I teach and also many students coming from all over the world. I grow perovskite thin films on silicon and pattern them in a helium ion microscope to form nanopillars. As it's a nanoscale structure, the electrical polarization pattern can be more complex than in a thin film. I investigate these imagined polarization patterns and how they can change with the size of the pillar. I characterize them with a piezo-force microscopy and advanced synchrotron techniques at Besito. I am working on amorphous gallium oxide-based devices. I deposit thin films using plasma-enhanced atomic layer deposition, where I can control the thickness on atomic scale and tune the electrical properties. 
After fabricating transistors in the clean room, I chemically and electrically characterize them, and then I use this understanding to better the device performance. After my master's in South Korea, I wanted to pursue my PhD degree in Europe, as it is relatively closer to my country, Nigeria. Elmo then from Berlin has an excellent reputation, and I felt it would offer me a great start to my research career. At iFox, we work from material growth to applications and devices, and this gives an excellent opportunity to expand my knowledge on a broad spectrum. We are a group of six PhD students from various backgrounds, so it's really fun to work together. At Helmholtz Center Berlin, in addition to world-class infrastructure, we have the chance to work in a very supportive environment for research and with many talented scientists and supporting staff. Besides nanoelectronics, metal oxide are also studied at HZB for different applications like solar fuels, photovoltaics or catalysis. This is an outstanding multidisciplinary environment to get various expertise and nurture new ideas. The science we do in quantum and neuromorphic materials allows everyone to express their creativity and provides the excitement of working on grand challenges for the benefit of society. By creating the next generation of materials, we aim at a more sustainable future.